and this not no deal Time to put all of the cards on the table I'm on box and I do what I say so Oh, that's your bitch with the piss on the nibble Don't know how to fuck, but she got some good hit though And she got connects like Google and Cable Fuck around, put that little chick on the payroll Rubber on, cause that little chick on the baby, I'm not tryna be romantic Dusky, Van Cheese Christ, who was on the drill scene in Chicago, Illinois, died at the early age of 25. He was featured on season one, episode 15 of Final Hours. Final Hour is a hashtag docudrama series that captures surreal events in a person's life, so viewers may have a reality check. Also featured on my channel is a hashtag docu-series, Final Hour Dialogue, of which future OTF New School and Zack TV won in the first air on November 13, 2019. The docu-series Final Hour Dialogue is a documentary type setting for viewers to have a more interpersonal look into the sociology aspect of the causes and effects. Okay. So I'm finna take y'all down the block to 56, 57, 58 in Wabash in Michigan. This is authentic, no cap, and all fact. People on the block love Dusky. He was very creative. He would break out at random times doing the WAP dance. He created that. As soon as he started to WAP, then everybody started to rock. If you don't remember the WAP, here it is. Not only did he create the WAP dance here in Chicago, he also had everybody on Jigamo. Jigamo means to pop mids. In case you've been living under a rock, Mids are pyramid shade ecstasy pills. Dusky was a pill popper and he stayed teed up off X pills. MOB Dusky was loved by his gang, so was MOB Scrap. In part one, we covered MOB Dusky sliding for Scrap and Dusky's mid spot on 56 in Michigan. MOB Dusky was sliding on Roro with your 56 and Shield members for the death of MOB Scrap. Roro is a group of MCs, Travis World, or GDs on 57th and 58th in Princeton and Normal. Dodge City is 56 and Shields. 56 and Shields is three blocks from 56 to Wabash where MOB Scrap was killed. There has been a long feud since the death of Junebug who was shot and killed over a member being robbed at a dice game. Dusky had clout, but he let the mids and the gang life have a stronghold on him. This led to Dusky being disrespectful to the old heads in MOB. On a sunny day, a brother of MOB member stole a gun from Dusky, and Dusky 
and another gang violated Shorty for stealing from Dusky. After Dusky put hands on Shorty, he told a family member who confronted Dusky for jumping his family. Words flew around and shots were let off on Michigan and Wabash. Soon after the altercation, the feud led to Dusky and his girlfriend being shot on 56th in Michigan. Dusky's death caused younger guys to flip from MOB Scrap Gang to just Scrap Gang. Scrap Gang is on the hunt for revenge for Dusky and to stay away from the old heads and MOB. After Dusky's death, Scrap Gang took 56 in Michigan while the old heads took 58 in Wabash. By this time, MOB Killer KI is ready to come back on the block. Killer KI was family with MOB Rob, MOB T Dog, MOB Pone, MOB Crusher, and MOB True. Killer KI was in and out of prison for multiple counts of felony possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. As I interviewed a high ranking member of MOB with the open mouth mask on his face, he sat me down as he prepared to give me the green light on Killer KI. He told me, Shorty, you need to listen. What I'm about to tell you, I will never say it again. Weezy, listen. My boy Killer KI was the heart of MOB. Killer KI made his status very known. KI slid down on blood money after he was riding with another MOB member and they saw blood money and got down as he was lacking. Killer KI named himself as a killer and never backed away from his name. He told members that he's black shit and he ain't to be taken as a joke. One day, MOB was chilling when Stello rolled through MOB. The guy's like, that's Stello. What is he doing on our block? Just in case, they strapped up. Later that day, Stella rode through MOB in the same charger. He rode down Wabash toward 57 and made it left toward State and made his way back toward 59. Little did he know, MOB KI, Bebe, and another MOB member was hanging in the alley and seen him, they cut through the lot and another hopped in a car and they caught him at the light. Killer KI and Bebe was on foot while another was driving. KI and Bebe shot from the sidewalk and another from the red car. They caught Stello as he was trying to make it left on 59th back towards 600. After the murder, they ran back through the lot back on Wabash in Michigan. The member in the red car dipped out and ditched the car, never to be driven again. After Killer KI killed Stello and Blood Money, he was indicted on multiple counts of gun charges and spent years in prison. During his time in prison, MOB Dusky took over Wabash. After Dusky's death, Scrap Gang waited for the opportunity to get at the older members of MOB. MOB got word from prison that the young guys were wild and may have to get up with the shorties. MOB leaders wanted structure on the block. MOB Bebe, Melly, and MOB Nut used to throw GPS devices under people's cars so they could follow and rob dealers. This led to MOB Bebe being killed on 65th and Inglewood.
MOB Nut killed MOB Bebe due to MOB Bebe's brother, MOB Damo, killing Nut's cousin, 800 Pyro, while he was hanging out with MOB Tenderlies. Damo is serving 50 years for Pyro. MOB Damo killed MOB Nut's cousin after he got drunk and got on that and shot 800 Pyro while he was asleep on the couch and shot him in the head on 56 and Wabash. Killer Kiyai killed Blood Money, then he killed Stello. MOB Damo killed Pyro, then MOB Nut killed Bebe. Nut killed Bebe as payback for his cousin Pyro. Melly and Bebe robbed dealers. Then the dealers blew at Melly and accidentally killed Motor inside. Killer Ki heard from prison that his family members and older MOB members were beefing with the younger dudes in MOB. Now scrap game. MOB told Killer Ki that scrap game was making threats about get back for Dusky. So Killer Ki stated, don't even trip, I'll be out soon. Chill out shorty. I'll be on Wabash. Ever since a member from Blackgate killed Junebug on 57th and Wabash, MOB ain't been the same. The hit on Junebug was done by Blackgate PDs over a high ranking member's son being robbed at a dice game on 57th and Wabash. They had assumed MOB had robbed them and they were ambushed by Blackgate in which they sprayed an AK-47 into a car that MOB robbed was driving and struck Junebug. This turned MOB cold. Killer Ki served his time and came home on house arrest. After he got off the bracelet, MOB members told him to stay away from Scrap Gang on 56 and Wabash and chill with the MOB on 58 and Wabash. Killer Ki didn't listen to MOB and walked up to Scrap Gang and confronted all the gangs on 56 and Wabash. He told them this MOB and I'm with the Scrap Gang and I'm the real Scrap Gang. Y'all ain't scaring nobody with your threats. Ain't no doozy get back. Five hours later, members from Scrap Gang shot and killed Killer Ki. Killer Ki was get back for Dusky. MOB had a meeting on 58 in Michigan and they about to run Scrap Gang off 56 in Wabash. <laughs>